So fake leaks in the Grand Theft Auto community have been around for pretty much forever. A lot longer than you probably have. Actually, check out this video from a YouTuber named Badger detailing fake GTA 4 screenshots that existed way back in 2006. You can find his channel linked down below to check out that full video. But they've literally been around since the early 2000s, since around probably GTA Vice City. But the thing is that way back then, YouTube didn't exist, so the fake leaks didn't spread as fast as they do now. But back then, the leaks were very prevalent across forums, threads, and articles, and things like that. So they existed, people knew about them, but there just wasn't as much of a reach to people outside of the GTA community like there is now. Well, Ned Luke, the voice actor for Michael DeSanta, said a very interesting quote in an Instagram live stream the other day, and he said, If you hear it from Rockstar, then you know. If you don't hear it from Rockstar, you don't know shit. Also, I feel I need to add in here that this in no way, shape, or form is meant to disrespect Ned Luke at all or send any animosity like towards him. I think he's a really cool guy. I follow him on Twitter and outside of like Rockstar Games and GTA. He just seems like a really cool guy. And while what he said is true, if you hear it from Rockstar, you know, but if you don't hear it from Rockstar, you don't know anything, that last part isn't necessarily true, and that's what prompted me to make this video, because while there have been many fake leaks in the past in the GTA community, there have also been many leaks that have turned out to be true. Except it's an after-the-fact type of scenario, meaning these leaks were real from the get-go, but they weren't confirmed until Rockstar announced the project surrounding the leaks. So today we've got six Grand Theft Auto leaks that turned out to be true. If you enjoyed this video, well hopefully I can earn your thumbs up. 3,000 likes on this video would honestly be really, really cool. Alright, so leak number one that we have comes from a Kotaku article on March 26th, 2008. Now, I actually lined up all of the leaks in this video based in a chronological order and the year that they did release. And what's funny is the forum thread that I found that led me to the Kotaku article, there was a comment that said, I haven't heard a whole lot about it, but is it true that it takes like a couple hours to get from one side of the map to the other? And he was talking about GTA 4. So anyways, this Kotaku article is GTA 4 street map leaked. And like I said, this came out one month before the release of Grand Theft Auto 4. At the time, we didn't really know what the map looked like or anything like that. So this image leaked from someone who got their hands on an early PS3 copy of the game. And they posted a picture of what the map looked like that comes with the end game manual and the article says this is exactly why we can't have nice release dates a web shots user named Paula Malawala something like that at least has uploaded six images of what looked to be the map insert for the ps3 version of gta 4 images include the city itself complete with descriptions of various locales the liberty city subway map the controller map for the ps3 it's about as New York as you can get without actually being in New York. Everything looks rather official, though I'm going to go ahead and rumor tag this pending some sort of official confirmation. It's not that we don't trust the internet, it's just, okay, we don't trust the internet. So, this turned out to be the real GTA 4 map, but at the time, because it wasn't official, we just had to, and as much as I hate the quote, take it with a grain of salt. So, anyways, this turned out to be GTA 4's real map, but at the time, we didn't really know if it was or not. Next up, we're going to jump forward to July 26th, 2010, and this is where we really got our first ever GTA 5 leak. Now, this article was written by Richard Walker on XboxAchievements.com. Uh, this user and author uh, we're actually going to mention a couple more times in the video, but he made an article titled Grand Theft Auto 5 Heading to Hollywood because there was rumors that Rockstar Games was scouting locations in and around Los Angeles, California for an upcoming title. And as we know, GTA 5 would turn out to take place in Los Angeles and the surrounding areas. So he says, we have to admit, if we're concocting GTA 5 rumors, a Hollywood setting would be pretty low on the list. But that's the speculated location that has been circulated today in relation to the next chapter of, in the Grand Theft Auto series, which last visited the west coast of its fabricated America in GTA San Andreas. You may recall that San Andreas also had its own take on LA called Los Santos with its very own glitzy Hollywood-style district named Vinewood. 
complete with a big Vinewood sign up in the hills. If the rumors have any credibility, Rockstar could be looking to San Andreas for the sequel. And that was that. Basically, in July 2010, that's all we knew. GTA 5 is in its super early development stages. Rockstar is going to scout out locations for what would become Los Santos, Vinewood, Sandy Shores, and all of those areas. So it's really cool that we had had this information way, way back then, over three years before the release of the game, but it had no credibility at the time. And that was just one of those after-the-fact scenarios that we didn't know until Rockstar Games would later confirm that in... 2012 and 13. Now, on February 28th, 2011, we got another very interesting article from Richard Walker, and he said, are these the Grand Theft Auto 5 web domain names? He says, it's hardly news that Grand Theft Auto 5 is coming at some point. Just as sure as the sun sets and the world keeps turning, there will be another Grand Theft Auto in the near future. When, however, is a slightly more difficult question to answer. Although it could be that an announcement isn't too far off, especially given that we've had tips sent to us saying the game is being listed on GameStop's Power Ups Pro website, Rockstar has also gone ahead and publicly registered a few new domain names too, just to add a little fuel to the speculative fires. The web domains are all typically humorous spoof names for various companies or commercials promising sly parodies of the kind of advertisements that run during the daytime, offering exorbitant loans, Injury claims or cash for your old gold. Take a look at the web domains Rockstar registered. Cashfordeaddreams.com, sixfigurtemps.com, stoppayingyourmortgage.net, hammersteinfaust.com, and lifeinvader.com. Now remember, whether these have anything to do with Grand Theft Auto 5 is unclear, and so for now, this is pure speculation. So, with that said, at the time, we thought this was speculation. We thought, what is this? This is over two years and seven months before GTA 5 would release. But all five of those web domains that were registered in February 2011 would turn out to be humorous websites that we can actually access on our phone or computer in Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, the last article that we have from Richard Walker comes from March 8th. 2011 and this was actually a casting call from Rockstar Games for a title codenamed Rush. Now at the time we didn't know whether or not this was for GTA 5 but putting a lot of just uh, context clues together and reading in between the lines it was pretty obvious that this most likely was for Grand Theft Auto 5. So it was codenamed Rush and in this, we got a list of characters with little descriptions on what they could be. And also, we're obviously looking for some voice work. And in this article, a little excerpt says, The characters listed for the motion capture and voice work all have a distinctive GTA feel to them, with the casting call looking for actors to play the likes of Brother Adam, a Welsh monk and cult leader and yoga teacher who is also very lithe. Very into exploring your personal tension through grippling massage. Now, that would turn out to be Fabian LaRouche, that obviously did appear in GTA 5, or Mitch Hayes, an annoying, wisecrackling, highly successful FBI agent in great shape. He does triathlons and drinks low-calorie beer, but still has a sense of humor. Now, that would obviously turn out to be Steve Haynes. And the last description we have is, then there's Rich Roberts. An English hardman actor who's 35 years old, acts tough, but wants to do serious work. The only problem is, he can't quite read the words. Now, I'm honestly not sure who that description is. Maybe it's going over my head, but if you guys know, it'd be cool if you could let me know down below in the comments. So, anyways, that was from March 2011, and that was a rush casting call for GTA 5. Now, if we actually fast forward to October 25th, 2011. This would be the day that GTA 5 did officially get announced at 6 a.m. in the morning from Rockstar Games. Well, later on this day, Kotaku released an article titled, Grand Theft Auto 5 will be set in Los Angeles and may star multiple characters. Now, it was essentially confirmed that GTA 5 would be taking place in LA from the very first trailer and GTA 5 announcement that day, but it wasn't confirmed and mentioned anywhere about multiple protagonists and characters appearing in the game. So, this leak and this rumor that is discussed in this Kotaku article, well, that obviously would go on to turn out to be true, as in GTA 5, that would be the first game to let us play as three different protagonists. 
Now, this last leak I left last for a reason, not because best for last, but because it was just so minuscule. So, in February 2011, a motion capture artist who's worked for Rockstar Games from Max Payne 3 to Red Dead Redemption to Manhunt 2 and even in Saints Row 2 named Declan Mulvey actually added GTA 5 motion capture stunt performer to his resume. Now, this was in February 2011, but once this kind of broke the web a little bit, well, he claimed that it was an error and that it was supposed to be for Grand Theft Auto 4. However, this actor is not credited anywhere in GTA 4 or its episodes on any resumes or, or in the credits anywhere, so that turned out to be one of those mistakes that he had to just change really quick. Kind of like with Timothy Neff, a Rockstar Games stuntman who has worked on Red Dead Redemption 2 and listed GTA 6 on his resume and even said before RDR 2 released when it was on his resume that that was an accident, I'm not even working on the game, that wasn't supposed to be there. So, also, Jorge Cansejo, who has had GTA 6 listed on his resume since early 2018, just recently removed that from his resume and it could be the same kind of reason that Rockstar's like, dude, just remove this so people stop with all the questions. But anyways, with that said, those are six Grand Theft Auto leaks that did turn out to be true. Now, before we go, I feel like we have to give an honorable mention to Red Dead Redemption 2 because in 2014, this image right here, and I've talked about it before on the channel, leaked on Reddit and it broke the internet, claiming that this is a official screenshot from Red Dead Redemption 2. Obviously, Red Dead Redemption 2 wouldn't be announced for over two and a half years. We didn't know anything about that or if it would ever happen or come to fruition. Well, when RDR2 released, it turned out that that this image was real and this location is in the game and then in April 2016 the official Red Dead Redemption 2 map leaked six months before Red Dead Redemption 2 was even announced and this whole map would turn out to be true so sometimes yes leaks do turn out to be true but it's always an after the fact scenario so I could bet 100% there are many GTA 6 leaks that we've talked about so far that some are fake but also a handful of those are actually real we just won't know until a few years down the line so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. A little love goes a long way. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed the content and want to stick around for more. But anyways, thank y'all for the support. I appreciate you all. I hope you're being safe during everything that's going on in the world right now. And I hope to see you in the next video.